Five Man Fights here again with another great heavyweight quarterfinal matchup. We have a good one between Moses Eastman, who by the way is undefeated, versus Dan Christian. He's 7-2, so you know you can't count him out. I do have to say though, you know, if they stand up, Moses got the big advantage there. I mean, the power in those hands are just godly. If they take it to the ground, you know I gotta give that to Christian. Dude is an amazing submission artist, you know what I'm saying? So either way, somebody might be going to sleep, somebody might be getting broken in some way. I mean, it's just going to be a great fight. It's changing early. Christian th showing a nice jab here. Oh, really getting some good uh, punches out here. But you know, Moses here working some combinations. Oh, and a nice body kick. You could hear that one. Oh, and Moses lands a nice left. You can tell it did some damage. Oh, but Dan gets his own nice uppercut. Dan showing some good counter punching here. Gets the underhooks. And nice throw. He has side control. Trying to jump into mount, it looks like. Nope, throws on Kimura. Oh, and he can't get it. Really trying to muscle that Kimura in there. Now he's got full mount. Let's see what he's going to do with it. Let's see if he can do anything. Moses trying his hardest to escape, but can't get anywhere. But pushes it into half guard. It pushes him off. But Christian already back in that. Th Man, nice throw. Some nice punches there trying to soften him up. Looks like he's going to try to pass. Throws on a head and arm choke from side control. Can't quite get it. So close. And they're back to their feet. Nice escape by Moses Eastman. I mean, I definitely have to say Eastman has to be uh, more worried about those takedowns. Now he's been taken down twice. Crazy flying knee by Moses. Didn't really know they had that in his repertoire, honestly. I mean, even though Dan is getting the better of these strikes, I would definitely have to say that uh, Moses is probably getting more damage done here. I mean, he has heavier hands. But, I mean, Christian really scoring a lot of points. Punches and bunches. Nice combinations and great counter punching. Gets the underhooks again. Be expecting a throw here. And Moses trying his hardest to get out. Finally does. But, you know, Dan's already working it back in. Let's see if he goes for that throw. I know he is. He gets it. He's in side control. Hits a nice punch. He's in full mount. And it just doesn't look like Moses can do anything here. I mean, as you can tell, Dan Christian just showing superior skills here. Uh, showing these a whole lot better wrestler and a ground guy. Ten seconds left. I don't think Moses is going to be able to do anything. This is a Dan Christian fight right here. Dan Christian all the way. You know what I'm saying? Nice takedowns. I mean, that's a nasty cut and everything, but, I mean, he was more effective. In the groundwork here. I mean, he landed more punches, but I wouldn't say that he dealt more damage. But, I mean, it's a, it was a great fight. I mean, if the judges screwed this up, I'm going to have to fire one of them. And I don't even have that authority. But I'll have somebody do it. That's terrible. No offense. I'm just saying, dude. I know my opinion don't matter. Highlights by Next Gen. Real quick. And here you can see. Well... Dan Christian doing some nice counter punching, you know what I'm saying? Nice body and nice head punch. Then throwing on the crazy head and arm choke here from side control. And this is just another example. Getting the nice underhooks in the clinch, takedown in side control. And the winner is Dan Christian. And he's going on to fight the winner of Tyler Tremblay or Zane Danger Zone. Eden! And that's going to be a great fight. You know, we got a wrestler versus a striker. So, I mean, anything could happen. They could stand and bang. I mean, both men have heavy hands, like I've always said. Heavyweights, they love it, man. They love throwing punches, and they love eating punches. I'm saying, it's like a tank or something, bro. So, um, click the subscribe button in the top left, please. Click the fight to see the next fight. Also, you may follow me or Phoenix or Five Minute Fights on Twitter. Nah, I'm just playing with the stupid accent, but for real, check all that stuff out. Check out the next fight, it's gonna be great. That's it, y'all.